What's up, Maverick 10? It's everybody here with Blu-ray Collection Part 4. Now, the other part, something I want to get off my chest, guys, is with Part 1, I went off on a tangent. I want to, You guys are really patient with me, so I want to say thank you. Part 2, I felt like I was off. I didn't feel like I was on my game, so I want to say I'm sorry. As far as Part 3 goes, you're welcome. Now, guys, let's get into this Blu-ray Collection Part 4. We're picking up with the ends. Let's get right into it. We're going to try to finish it up. National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets, liked it. Didn't love it, but I liked it. Oceans 13, I liked this trilogy. I felt like th this trilogy, though, had, had some problems getting off the ground uh, as far as the first two movies go, like a lot of movies do, where the first one was really good, and the second one kind of, you know, wasn't good. So it's like with the third one, they try to... You guys know what I'm talking about when, the, when, the, when there's a, a movie and they make a sequel to it, and the sequel just does not live up to the original, um, like Dark Knight. With Batman Begins, who <laughs> not like nobody likes Dark Knight. I know, I don't know anyone who likes that movie. The Orphanage, guys. This is subtitled. This is Guillermo del Toro, but um, like I said, it does have subtitles. So if you're not the best reader, you might not be into it. Really good visuals though, and a very good ghost story. Pandorum. This has my boy Ben Foster in it. Dude is an acting stud. I've said it before. He can get it done for real. For you sci-fi fans, the first 20 minutes of this movie are great. The middle has some up and ups and downs. The last 20 minutes of it are spectacular. Really good uh, little sci-fi uh, movie there. Do I need it? Do I even have to say anything? Get to the chopper. Do I, I mean, do I have to sexual Tyrannosaurus? Do I need to say anything? I mean, is there anyone right now going, Predator, uh, what, what do you think of it, Mav? I, I, I've always wanted to see it, really. Quarantine. Guys, I like the, the handy cam night vision movies like Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield. And this was, uh, this was a lot like those, same vein. Uh, and I liked it. Plus, uh, I have a friend whose wife looks like the lead character to me, which is really cool. Reservoir Dogs. We had, we talked about Quentin and one of the last, uh, I think it was part three. So, no, actually, I think it's part two. Actually, I don't even, I don't even, did we, did we talk Quint who? Anyway, I loved Reservoir Dogs. Loved it. Freaking loved it. I haven't talked to anybody who, who's seen this that doesn't like it. And in fact, everyone that I know who has seen it is like, oh, that's awesome. So, I agree. Resident Evil Extinction, did you guys see the new one? What did you think of it? Comment. I don't really ask for you guys to comment because I feel like I don't have to because you guys comment a lot. I freaking, it's the best. I love it. Um, I should start asking you guys a thumbs up though because uh, my la my two videos ago, I got my first dislike. You know, I'm, I'm cool about it. You know, I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to go crazy about it, but I will say that I, you know, I had to go get a little quart of Ben and Jerry's and sit down and just think about my feelings in, in the bathtub with a glass of wine. So, you know, but, you know, that things like that happen. Whatevs. Thumbs up, though, and comment. Okay, no, no. Well, I've, hey, man, thumbs up, dude. Comment if you want. You know, it's cool. I'll, I'll probably comment back. The Road. Uh, the book was better. You know, I mean, honestly, though, but now I have, I've, read a lot of books where the book was better than the movie, but don't you hate when people like really get into that? Oh, the book was better. Kind of gets annoying. Like, even though it's true sometimes, like, okay, you're trying to sound more, uh, yeah. I, especially when you're excited about the movie. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, the book was better. Yeah, the book was better. Really? Was it? Because it took you a month to read the book. I watched the movie in 90 minutes. So, no. Sorry, the book. And I mean, and why you, the, the month it took you to read that book, I went out with friends. I watched 14 movies. I got like 30 trophies and 30 achievements, beat a couple games, ranked up 24 times, and went to a couple parties. And th that same month that it took you to read that book. So, yeah, I mean, if you if you like boring life, if you don't like to have a social life, if you like not doing other things like playing video games or going shopping and going to the movies or hanging out with friends and family, if you just like, like having a, a no variety and just a straight boring life, then I guess you're right. The book was better. There are those movies that you like and people are like, oh, I hated that movie. And you're like, oh, I can understand that. I really hate it. Then there are those movies where you're like, hey, I don't care what anybody says. I freaking love it. Starship Troopers. I love. Okay, that was kind of weird. We just got off the road. That was I actually did. This was a good book. One of the best uh, sci-fi books ever. But this movie, man, I love this movie. It was like a B movie with tons of money to work with. Uh I, I loved it. I loved everything about it. I love the humor. I love the campiness. I love the the uh, lectures. Uh, I loved everything about this movie. 
freaking awesome. That's why I have the third one. Well, Matt, where's the second one? If you love them so much, they didn't make the second one was so good. They never even came out with it on Blu-ray. That's how great it is. I have it on DVD and it does not belong on, on my Blu-ray. Uh, third one, the second one they went, I don't even want to get, no one even really likes Star Trek Tours, I don't think. But anyway, to get, the second one got darker like they do. Like they were trying to go the whole, whole Empire way. And then the, the third one went back to the campy B-movie type stuff. I love Starship Troopers. Star Trek. I took the the cover off because I thought it looked. Uh, I kind of like just. It's fake. I'm not a Trekker or a Trekkie or a Spock sucker. Okay, I don't. I've only seen two episodes of Star Trek in my entire life. One a Voyager that The Rock was on, and one where William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy get captured in some prison or something uh i don't, i'm not into that stuff i have nothing against it just never you know not my generation it's more it's it's like the next generation um but i love that i, I was down with it when jj J. abrams i'm down with whatever jj J. abrams does when saw so probably the best movie i saw in theaters in 2009 not my not necessarily my favorite one but done so freaking well i'm wanting a sequel i don't i don't, like i said i don't even like starship or starship Trooper. i don't even like star trek stuff so um I loved it though. The thing. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is actually not about Jules Tooth. This is about an alien in the snow with Kurt Russell. It's actually a classic, actually, if you didn't know. Total recall. Now, my cousin said, I don't like Total Recall because um it couldn't it couldn't happen. It's not realistic. I said, How do you know? She's like, Have you seen it? There's no way that can ever happen. I mean that can never happen. I said, it takes place in the future. How do you know it couldn't happen? Have you been there? I said that to her. And then I looked her dead in the eye and was like, you know, take that. But she's like 6'4". So it wasn't normally, it wasn't really, in, it was it was in the sunshine. Written by Alex Gardner. Uh, Sci-fi fans, you guys should, should learn his name. Dude can write. Great stuff. Now, my Blu-ray collection, I just realized, maybe you look like I'm a really big nerd, which I am, but sometimes you don't want to look like it. Like, I'm a nerd, but I'm like one of the cool nerds. Really? I really like this movie. It's about the sun is fading, so they send a team of astronauts and scientists out to the sun to basically drop a nuke on the sun to reignite it. Really good movie. Takes a crazy twist, and I don't mean like a, a genre-bending twist, because it kind of goes from a one type of movie, bam, into another different type of movie. Uh, just within a few minutes, so re really good. I lent that one out to all my friends so they could watch it. Man, oh, I didn't want to do this. Uh, I wish I had something on the top of my head, something witty I could say about Twilight and New Moon, but no matter what I say, guys, I still cannot cover up the fact that I own Twilight and New Moon. I'm not going to blame it on my wife because she didn't buy them. We Were Soldiers, as you can see, starring Mel Gibson, or as I like to call him, Dear Fuhrer. Really good Vietnam movie. Now let me look at I'm going to talk and try to skim over and make sure this was about Vietnam because I actually kind of forget. North Vietnam, yep. It's been a while since I've seen it. The, I should totally know. I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't. I should go. I, just, I don't even go. They're already in alphabetical order. I don't even have to go over. I don't even have to look at them. I, I just turn the camera on and just start going. So, I, But I should have done my research. I'm sorry. The Wrestler. Loved it. Mickey Rourke comeback. Uh, really good, guys. Even if you're not into professional wrestling. <sighs> this. Mm, this is my movie. X-Men Origins Wolverine. I saw it six times in theater. One for every claw. And that's not a... You know, oh, it's, oh, he's fun. No, I, I saw it once for every claw. Saw it six times in the theater. Loved it. Now, some people were like, I didn't really like how they did Gambit. I didn't like how they did Sabretooth. I didn't like how they get, made his memory loss. And to that, I say, I don't care. Loved it. Zombieland. Guys, we're almost done. One of the best zombie movies I've seen in the, in the last 10 years. Um, fun. Just straight fun. Fun zombie. If you haven't seen it and you like zombie films or you like any, it's it's a zombie movie. But it's got some got, got got a lot of comedy, got a lot of good uh, kills. Just a fun movie to watch. All right, guys, we're done with the movies. Real quick, the TV shows Fringe on Blu-ray.
Beast. Can I can I copy shampoo real quick? Beast. This 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 is one of my favorite. Might be my favorite uh, series on television right now. And then last but not least, we've got True Blood. My wife's really into True Blood, and I'm and I'm really into Twilight. So you know, I know I'm like manly because I like Twilight. She's like she likes those teeny bopper True Blood. And honestly though, uh, her friend loves Twilight, and my wife was like, "Hey, you gotta watch True Blood. It's like twi Twilight for adults." So she watched True Blood. And was like, oh my god, this is nothing like Twilight. It's like Twilight for adults. What did she just tell you, Megan? She just told you that. Don't talk to my wife like that. I tell her to her dog all the time, don't bark at my wife like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of glad we're done to move on to different things. Now we can do my DVD collection. I'll be right back. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. But guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you, uh, rather, regardless of whether, whether you like the blue rates that I have or you don't, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and uh, thumbs up. Are you allowed to say rate anymore? Comment, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. All right, guys, I'm Matter 10. I'll see you guys soon. I'm out of breath.